In this video, I'll show you how you can change the default labels on your question slides. I was visiting the Adobe Captivate Users Group over on Facebook and I saw this message from one of my colleagues there. They were looking to use the object style to change the default labels and sentences for correct answer, incorrect, and so on. So I thought I'd make a video and show you how to actually do it. It's not actually done through the object style manager, but in your Captivate preferences. Let me take you through that process now. Okay, so here's an example of a multiple choice question that has the default labels and the default labels for the controls, the navigation controls at the bottom of the slide. If I wanna change this, I can do so, but it's not done from the object style manager. Instead, it's done from the Adobe Captivate preferences window. And I'll show you that right now. There's one caveat though, you can't affect the change to existing question slides. This will only change question slides moving forward. So let's go into that. We're gonna go into the edit drop-down menu and select preferences. If you're on a Mac, you're gonna choose the Adobe Captivate drop-down menu and select preferences from there. If you're not already at the right location, we're gonna select quiz and go down to default labels. And from here, we can change what the messages for all of our captions will be, as well as the labels for the controls or buttons that you see on question slides. So for example, I might wish to change my correct message to correct period, click anywhere, or press Y to proceed. Similarly, I might wish to have a similar message for my incorrect caption. So we can do that as well. And we'll change the word continuing on our incomplete message to proceed as well. Also too, I like to use all capital letters for my buttons here. So I'm gonna change that to submit with all capital letters, submit all. Instead of clear, I'm gonna use the word reset. Instead of skip, I'm going to use the word next and back. Well, of course, we'll still be back. So I click on OK, and as, as I suspected, none of this will change the existing multiple choice questions. But if I create new multiple choice questions like I'm about to do, you'll see, of course, the updated version of our messages here. Our submit button is all in capital letters. And if I add the additional optional buttons, you'll see that they are reset, back, next, also all in capital letters. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.